how to build a brand comes down to essentially five things. It's brand discovery, brand development, your marketing and your messaging, how you communicate that to your audience, and then monetization. So those are really the five things. But where I want to focus on today, which I feel like is the most important piece, but often the most overlooked piece is that brand discovery phase. So this is where I was talking a little bit about the brand values. Your brand discovery phase is that time, is that phase where you really root into not only what makes you unique and different and not only what your niche is, but more importantly, what is it that you specialize in? I think that a lot of times people you know, they kind of get lost in that word that is the niche. It's a buzzword. We hear it all the time. And you got to niche down and how to niche. And a lot of people are really repelled by that. They're very confused right. by that. A lot of people don't want to niche down because they they think that it's actually going to hurt them rather than help them. But really the opposite couldn't be true. And so the way that I look at it is that take niche off the table. Let's not focus on that. And instead, let's focus on what do you specialize in? Because once you can answer that question, I specialize in blank, it allows you to really streamline and focus on what makes you unique, what your unique value proposition is to the community that you want to call in, and how you can actually serve them. And so um, a piece to that is your brand values, really getting clear on what is important to me, what is really going to drive this ship forward? What do I feel is going to allow me to have sustainability tomorrow as well as 10 years from now? And so it's about really getting clear on those values and what it is that you specialize in. And the more specialized you are, actually the more money you can make, um, the more no like, and trust that you can build, and the more of a thought leader and authority that you are going to be to your market. And so again, a lot of times people think, if I niche down, then that means I'm going to be missing out on opportunities. But I kind of like to use the analogy of this. Let's say that you, you know, there's something wrong with your throat and it's like you're coughing and you don't know why. And you've gone to certain people and they're like, oh, it's fine. So let's say that you go to a doctor and the doctor says, okay, I know that we can't figure this out together. So I can either refer you to a specialist who knows exactly what is wrong with your throat and can help you, or I can refer you to just like this general doctor who may or may (laughs) not have an idea of what's going on because they generally work on a lot of different parts of the body. Who are you going to want to go to? Obviously, specialist. Most likely the specialist that is going to know exactly what you need and to help you. And so that's really what I encourage people to think about is, again, like the more specialized you are, the more money you make, Mm -hmm. the bigger your brand can grow and the more authority that you have. So that's really the first piece of that brand discovery and making sure that you really get clear on what it is that you specialize. And then from there, you can go into actually developing a brand strategy. And then from there, the content and the messaging that supports that strategy. And from there, calling in the right community of people that are going to want to actively and consistently engage in your content. And from there, then you can start building towards a monetization. 